It's September 3rd, and you're watching GameSpot News. I'm Chris Waters, the latest DLC character from GameSpot's international roster to fill in for the protagonist of this program, Jess McDonnell. She's on vacation for a fortnight, so unless you've got one of Sony's new PlayStation 4 VR headsets, you won't be seeing her for a... Wait, what? Well, hell. It looks like Sony might be making your actual future a little bit more like that 80s sci-fi movie future you always wanted. Eurogamer and CVG both reported that Sony's virtual reality plans for the PlayStation 4 include an Oculus Rift-like headset. They also said that a VR version of Carporn Race Fest Drive Club is in an internal prototype stage at Evolution Studios. Reports conflict about whether Sony will unveil their new gizmo at Tokyo Game Show in a few weeks or wait until sometime next year. Looks like VR really is coming back around for another go. So are you up for it? Or are you still scarred from that time you tried the Virtual Boy and got horribly nauseous? Not that I would, had, you know, did. Oh, hey, there's a Microsoft news story. Let's do that now. Writing on Reddit recently, Microsoft's Larry Major Nelson Herb spoke out against claims that Xbox One development had been rushed to match the PlayStation 4. The Xbox One program has been in development for years, so calling it rushed is incorrect, Herb said. Did we have a few challenges between May and August? Sure, but we're working on our own schedule, not anyone else's. I think a few challenges seems like a bit of an understatement, but to be fair to Major Nelson, it's a lot easier to type than legions of consumers whose vocal criticisms spurred significant policy changes. Speaking of the Xbox One, developer Crytek's post on Xbox Wire offers some insight into the story development process for Rise, Son of Rome. Originally prototyped in Kinect only, Kinect Plus controller, and controller only versions, Crytek settled on the last one because people were drawn to it and it tied in neatly with Rise as, quote, a cinematic character led experience. Crytek went on to say the combat is built to feel good and give you maximum creativity in how you want to dispatch your enemies. The Romans were nothing if not creative in dispatching their enemies, but Rise will probably be more stabbing and bludgeoning than boiling and crucifying. Or so we hope. Finally, Bethesda VP of PR and Marketing, Pete Hines, has some words for Nintendo. <clears throat> do like them other guys do and stop doing like you do because you don't do it so good. I'm paraphrasing here, but in an episode of Game Trailer's bonus round, Hines said that Sony and Microsoft's practice of involving third-party publishers early in the console development process makes them much more appealing to work with. Nintendo's less collaborative, we made this, now you make stuff for it approach is alienating and is a big factor in why Bethesda has no plans to bring blockbuster series like The Elder Scrolls and Fallout to the Wii U. Which is a real shame because the only way the gamepad could make a better real-life Pip-Boy was if it actually affixed to your arm, monitored your vital signals, and somehow increased your lockpicking skill. The news marches on all this week at GameSpot, so please subscribe to us on YouTube, follow us on Twitter, and come back tomorrow for more GameSpot news. And thanks for watching.